Hello everyone, Anthony Sequera here with StormwindLive.com with another Cisco video blog. This one thanks to a poster over at the Cisco Learning Network in the CCNA study group. His name is John and he said, you know what Anthony, I'm struggling a bit with this frame relay map command versus the frame relay interface Delsi command. And that's a great question and we see questions about these particular frame relay commands all of the time. Now I provided a text answer, but I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video that would show these particular commands used at none other than the command line. Now I set up a really sophisticated topology here to demonstrate this. Look at how sophisticated that is. But in, in all seriousness, this is great when you can take three routers and you can emulate a frame relay environment. Notice we've got R1 and R2 connected to a router that we've configured as a frame relay switch. Now I want you to notice here that the R1 device, it's gonna be using a physical serial, serial 00 interface while the R2 device above my head is gonna be using a sub interface configured as point to point. That's going to be a critical distinction on these two devices for how we're going to take care of the frame relay configuration. Let's go ahead and jump to the command line of the R1 device and let's do a show run interface serial 00. Remember, we went ahead and configured the frame relay on the physical interface here, didn't we? And we can see with this configuration that we have the encapsulation set to frame. And then look at this. We turn off frame relays inverse ARP and the glue that binds our Delsi of 102 to the remote IP address of 10, 10, 10, 2 is that frame hyphen relay map command. So the frame hyphen relay map command is going to give us that name resolution for the Delsi as to what remote IP address it's going to be able to reach. Here's your key verification command. It's show frame relay map. When you look at the show free frame relay map command, you should see the remote IP address. You should see your local Delsi. You should see that it is a status of defined and active. If you haven't configured the other router, the R2 router in this case, you'll see a status here of inactive. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a peek over to the R2 device. So let's take a look at the R2 device configuration. Now, if you recall here, the R2 device, it's configured with a sub interface, specifically show run interface serial zero slash zero dot one. Specifically, it's that point to point sub interface. The point to point sub interface, it doesn't have nearly as much of a problem with layer two to layer three name resolution because by the definition of a point to point sub interface, it can only reach one device. But here's the thing. While we don't need a frame relay map statement here, we do need to tell the sub interface what its Delsi is. It can't learn it any other way. So we tell it, look, your Delsi is 201. If we do a show frame map on this device, it says, look, we're a point to point environment and you told me my Delsi of 201, thank goodness, and we're defined and active. Once again, if the R1 device wasn't configured here, we would see an inactive status. Obviously, a final verification with a configuration like this is to ping your neighbor. And obviously, you want to meet with total success in the frame relay connectivity. Well, thank you so much for joining us with this Cisco video blog where we looked at the frame hyphen relay map command at the command line on a physical frame relay interface. And then we looked at the frame hyphen relay interface hyphen Delsi command, which we use on our point to point sub interface. If you've got other video blogs that you'd like to see, please email me at anthony 
at stormwind.com, and we can be found at stormwindlive.com. Thanks again, everyone, and enjoy those studies.